Hey people, my name is Rahul and in this video we will see some extra add-ons of Elementor from which you can extend the features and the functionality for your Elementor page builder. So let's see. Okay, so I am on my WordPress dashboard. So basically for using the Elementor add-on, you will need to add a plugins. Okay, of course you will need to add a plugin. So let's just go to plugins and we will go and add a new one but before you install that elementor add-on it is most to have the element plugin itself so i am considering you have elementor and you are using elementor from many days so let's start i will click on add new plugin and then here you just have to search for elementor okay and with the elementor plugin all the add-ons of elementor will come now you can see this is the elementor page builder of course it is there in our website and now here are the add-ons first it is essential add-on for elementor second one is premium add-on for elementor royal add-on for you can see there are many as you want okay you can choose anyone any from this okay so what i will do i will just open any one of the add-on let's just open this okay i will click on this and now you will see the details of this add-on okay what you are getting in this add-on so we will just click on this check the demos and open it in a new tab and here you will see what you are getting with this add-on okay and let's just see okay you will get this advanced search simple menu creative buttons okay if you want to check what it is just click on it simple and the demo of it will get open in front of you okay so simply it will look like this i think yeah okay it will look like this or this or any of this you can use with that module okay advanced search or you can use simple menu or you can use creative button any you can choose from this okay they have a testimonials also let's see what it is actually in elementor we have option to ha add testimonials but we can't add slider testimonial i think so let's see if it has a slider testimonial okay it is just a normal testimonials mm, yeah it's just normal testimonials i thought it will be a slider so leave it for now and then create your buttons you can use buttons like this look at the hover effect awesome you can use any of this in your wordpress website with the help of this add-on if you want to use this add-on just click on install now simply and click on activate we will wait until it gets installed okay it's installed now we'll click on activate okay so here you need to select any one of this i will recommend to go with basic only if you are starting out or you can go with advanced but for starting we are going with the basic one so let's just click on next okay from here you can enable what you want if you want to use creative button enable it if you want to use team member enable it if you want to testimonial enable it flip box enable it anything you want to use enable it otherwise it is important to disable it if you are not using because it adds extra css into your wordpress site and it of course going to affect your website speed so it's better to disable the elements which you are not using if i am not using creative button i will just click on it and make it disable so it will not load on the elementor and of course it will not add this element css on the website so it's better to disable the elements if you are not using okay then what we will do we will just go again next and yeah of course uh, if you want to use any one of this letter you can come on that page and again enable it so not a big deal okay we'll click on next then here are some options which are only available for pro okay of course we are not going to use pro if we want pro we might go for elementor pro. okay so let's keep this step just click on next 
template we don't need this also just click on next integrations if you want you can but i will just keep this part again and now if you want to sign up for the newsletter and other information you can go and count me in i will just click on notes thanks okay congratulations you have successfully added the elementor add-on now let's just go in post and we will edit one post in elementor so we'll open this page i mean post in elementor now okay now i will just go inside edit with elementor okay once you are on elementor you will find all the modules okay first let me just disable all these things here okay i will go and make this page layout to canvas so we will not have any header or footer okay so we just update it okay and now you have to scroll down to the section called essential add-ons okay you will find this section here it says ea 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 okay these are the add-ons which we have added using the essential add-ons plugin okay if you want to use you can simply same use as a elementor element okay when you click on it it will come like this and now you can edit anything or as you want okay simply you can explore all the features provided by the add-on okay here are all the modules i mean elements or modules same okay here are all the modules which are provided by this plugin okay there are also some pro features here but of course we are using only free okay so we can use the free available modules let me just update it and again we will go on plugins okay i am not showing all the modules in this video i am just giving you some overview of the elementor add-ons and the extra functionality that you can add to elementor okay let's just again go to add new and go to elementor okay i search for elementor again okay now we have added this there are many add-ons available if you want this just go and first check what are the features this plugin is providing okay you can check the demos from here each plugin has a demo page you can go and check what features they are providing and you can use it okay i have used this plugin so many times because it allows me to create header and footer using elementor okay if you are not using the elementor pro then it is a best free option you can use to create headers and footers in elementor that's awesome right you don't need to purchase elementor pro so there are many options you can see and use into your elementor we will be creating some more videos on each of the add-ons so that you will get more information about all of these add-ons and how to use a particular modules so as you can see how we have used elementor add-ons to extend the features and functionality of elementor so that's it from the video if you have any questions let me know in comments below and if you are new here then hit that subscribe button and make it great thank you